Shit, man. Party all night and sleep all day? Shit, man. You already know. We about to turn up. Cheers, y'all. That voice so clear through broken walls. That scream I hear. Cry, little sister. Hey man, that's my jam right there. Boy, I turn up to that shit, man. That's that cut right there, my nigga. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Addiction TV. I hope everybody is having a good day. As y'all can see, I am turning the hell up right now. You know what I'm saying? I've had a couple shots of whiskey, but hey, you know what? Time to pour a beer, man. I might take a little break from the whiskey for the beginning of the video, and then at the end, we'll probably take another shot together. You know what I'm saying? Ah! Today's video, I will be doing a ranking for the Lost Boys trilogy. Now, I want to go ahead and say, the original Lost Boys from 1987, one of the best vampire movies ever made, in my own personal opinion, you know what I'm saying? And it, it was the only movie in the trilogy to get a theatrical release, you know what I'm saying? Like, yes, the other two, they were straight to DVD movies, you know what I'm saying, or straight to video, whatever you want to say, you know what I'm saying, but I own them on DVD, I went out and bought them, I've watched them all, and, you know, I enjoy them all for different reasons, but I do have a least favorite, I have a number, number one favorite, I got one in the middle, you know what I'm saying, so I'm going to rank them, and before we get into the ranking, if you don't mind, go down, grab the like button, and grab the subscribe button, that would be dope as hell, so we're going to go ahead and start this ranking off. And coming in at number three is going to be The Lost Boys, The Tribe, which is the second one in the trilogy. And it tells the story of Chris Emerson and Nicole Emerson, who are brother and sister. And Chris, he's an ex-pro surfer. And they moved to a small town called Luna Bay. You know what I'm saying? And I want to go ahead and say one thing I do like about all of The Lost Boys is how... They take place at the beach, you know what I'm saying? But um, the tribe, it's at the bottom of my list because it's it's just one that I really don't enjoy that much. I mean, <clears throat> excuse me, there are certain things I like about it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I do nerd out when Corey Feldman, a.k.a. Edgar Frog, pops up in the movie. I do like that scene, um, but I just, there's not a bunch about the tribe that I really enjoyed like don't get me wrong though the effects in the tribe they weren't bad the effects were actually pretty damn good and this came out and uh, I think this came out in 2008 um, so obviously you know the effects they were decent for a straight to DVD movie it was cool it was a cool vampire movie um, and I'm gonna go ahead and say Autumn Reeser who plays Nicole whoo Hey, I ain't gonna lie, that girl is gorgeous. I remember watching this movie and seeing her, and I'm like, damn. That's the little girl who played Piper on George Lopez? Damn, she all grown up now, my nigga. But I, I don't really care for uh, the, the lead vampire, Shane, played by Angus Sutherland, who is, you know, Kiefer Sutherland's brother. But uh, I didn't really care for his acting. I didn't really care for him as the lead vampire. Uh, I'm not saying he's a bad actor. I'm not saying nothing like that. I'm just saying I just didn't really enjoy him as the lead vampire. I didn't really enjoy the writing for this movie. I did like the uh, cameo from Corey Haim, like a post credit scene. Before post credit scenes were post credit scenes, you know what I'm saying? Um, Corey Haim did come back, who was in the original film, only for a couple of seconds. I did enjoy that, but you know, Lost Boys, The Tribe, that comes in at number three. Coming in at number two is going to be Lost Boys, The Thirst. And I really enjoyed this movie. For as cheap as it looks, I really enjoyed this movie because, you know, we got 
Corey Feldman back, and we got his brother back. Uh, I can't even remember the actor's name, but Edgar and Alan Frog. We get Alan back in this movie who wasn't in the tribe. He wasn't in the second film in the trilogy, which they originally shot footage for him, and they cut it, so he wasn't in the movie. Um, but what I like about it is he has been turned into a vampire. You know, he's still a frog brother, but he's a vampire. He's on the other side, you know what I'm saying? And and Edgar, Corey Feldman, he's still a vampire slayer, you know what I'm saying? And uh, one thing I did like about uh, The Thirst more than I liked about The Tribe is its references to comic books, you know? Edgar Frog, he's having a hard time in life. He's living in a trailer, and he needs to pay his bills. He don't want to get evicted. And he takes all these comic books to uh, the comic book shop trying to get money. And, you know, the, the guy at the comic book store, he's like, well, if you would part with that Batman number 14, I might be able to do a, a little better for you. And, you know, and he's like, no, that one has sentimental value, which ties back to the first Lost Boys when... Sam, Corey Haim, is looking for a Batman number 14, and there's only three in existence, and he's always keeping an eye out for it. I also really liked the character of Zoe, who also worked at the uh, comic book store, and she teams up with Edgar Frog to take down the head vampire, and there's a drug going around called the Thirst going around at all these raves, that DJ, a, a DJ named DJ X is given out to all these ravers. And you know, they, they, they think it's a drug, but it's vampire blood. And you guys know the vampire lore and the Lost Boys and drinking the blood of the head vampire and all of that shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I kind of like that twist because I used to be a raver. You know what I'm saying? So when that movie came out, I was heavy going to raves. And I was like, hey, this is kind of dope. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, Edgar is approached by a woman named Gwen Lieber to take down the head vampire. And she writes vampire, romantic vampire novels, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't gonna lie, damn, that girl looked good. And so did Zoe, you know what I'm saying? Zoe was cute as hell. And then they got a guy in there that is supposed to help him take down this vampire, Lars Van Getz, who is on all these reality shows wrestling alligators and bears and... You know, and then he thinks he's going to go up against some vampires and he gets fucked up. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, <laughs> I'm really enjoying this shit. <sighs> and I like how the Frog Brothers reunite. Because the whole movie, Edgar's trying to convince Alan to come help him take down the head vampire. And Alan is a vampire. You know what I'm saying? So Corey has to... Re Corey, Edgar, whatever. Corey Feldman. You know, you know who I mean. Has to recruit a team to help him go take down the head vampire because his brother won't help him because he is a vampire now. But finally, Alan decides to join Edgar and they take down the head vampire. And I like that. I like that they brought Alan back in even though it seemed like he wasn't going to help. He does come in and he helps Edgar. Um, and I do like how the movie does kind of end on a cliffhanger. You know, it ends with them killing the head vampire. Vampires are gone. They're done for. And I like how it ends with Edgar and Zoe in the comics, comic book store talking. And Edgar brings up werewolves. And he's spitting all these facts to Zoe and talking about werewolves. Then he brings up she-wolves and she's like, oh, well, that sounds interesting. And she looks into the camera and her eyes change and you hear a werewolf howl. And it was just a cliffhanger. I actually really enjoyed this movie, so that's why it comes in at number two. And coming in at number one is going to be, obviously, The Lost Boys. From 1987, directed by Joel Schumacher, starring Kiefer Sutherland. Bro, I love this movie to death. You know what I'm saying? And when it got a sequel, it blew my mind. You know what I'm saying? It's been 20 years. You know what I'm saying? The sequel, The Tribe, came out in 2008. And I'm just like, whoa. And I will never forget when I saw the trailer for the sequel. I was watching um, a DVD. Don't remember what it was. 
but I let it play through the trailers. And I wasn't paying attention. And all of a sudden, I heard the Lost Boys theme song. And I looked up, and I'm like, another Lost Boys? You know, so I was a little late on the second one. But anyways, the first one is number one on my list. One of the best vampire movies ever made, in my opinion. And I think it's inspired almost everything vampire related up until now. You know what I'm saying? Making vampires hip. Making them look cool. You know, riding motorcycles. Making them fit in with, you know, regular society. And uh, I want to say I love the cast. The cast of the original Lost Boys. You know, Corey Feldman, Corey Hain, Kiefer Sutherland, Jamie Gertz. They all did such a good job. You know what I'm saying? I love this movie to death. And I will never forget what got me to watch this movie. I was riding in the car with my dad. I think we were going to eat at Roosters or some shit like that. I don't know. We were going out to eat or do something. And he was playing the Lost Boys soundtrack in his car. And I'd never seen the Lost Boys. I was probably like nine, ten years old. And he was playing Cry Little Sister, the theme song. I'm like, hey, this is dope. You know what I'm saying? He's playing it. I'm like, I like this song. And he's like, it's from the Lost Boys. You ever seen the Lost Boys? I'm like, no, nah, I ain't never seen the Lost Boys. And he's like, hey, you got to watch the Lost Boys. So I went home later on and I watched the Lost Boys. And I loved it. You know what I'm saying? And I want to say, Kiefer Sutherland is David. He, you, you almost felt like he was a troubled teenager. But he was a vicious vampire at the same time. You know what I'm saying? And I loved, like I said, in the last one, the, in my, uh, about the thirst, I loved the comic book references. And I love how the Frog Brothers, because, you know, Sam and his brother Michael and their mother, they move back to Santa Carla. And they move in with uh, their grandpa. And <laughs> they keep getting warned by the Frog Brothers that, you know, vampires are taking over Santa Carla. And then Michael meets with David and Star, because Michael has this big crush on Star. By the way, I'm going to go ahead and say, Star, damn, Jamie Gertz, if you watching this, you old enough to be my mom, but whew, let's have some kids together. But Sam and Michael's mother, you know, she had just left their father, and she's ready to go out and, you know, meet a new man. So she goes on dates with this guy who runs a store in Santa Carla named Max and I want to say, my favorite character in this movie, I don't care what anybody says, I don't care. My favorite character is the grandpa. He is hilarious. He's got so many jokes from TV guides. He's, you know, he makes taxidermy animals and sells them, gives them to his grandkids, goes on dates with a widow. He was hilarious. But I was suspicious of him at first. I'm like, is he the head vampire? Because, you know, you got to kill the head vampire to cure everyone in that covenant. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, Star, she's about to be a vampire. Uh, Letty is about to be a vampire. Michael, he's getting close. And I got to make their first kill to fully transform into a vampire. And I thought Grandpa... He was, I thought he was a little suspicious. I thought he was the head vampire at first. But it turns out to be Max. But I love the ending of The Lost Boys. After all the vampires are killed and the grandpa comes back from a date. And he comes in and he was a part of killing the head vampire. And he walks to the fridge. He gets out a drink. Takes a drink. And he's like, one thing I could never stomach about living Santa Carla all the damn vampires. I'm like, <laughs> I love this old man. That dude was cracking me up. And, you know, the Batman number 14 thing, it, it was awesome as hell. And the Jim Morrison poster in, in the vampire's lair, that big poster of Jim Morrison, it was, it was cool as hell. So, coming in at number one is The Lost Boys. But, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's my ranking of The Lost Boys trilogy. What's your ranking? Which one do you love? Which one do you hate do you like any of them do you hate these movies in general let me know down in the comments don't forget to like or subscribe until next time guys coming at you from addiction tv